this is going to be a general reading for whoever finds it. It's timeless. It's a love read. It's also an energy update. Um, so let's start right in. <clears throat> I'm going to start out with my dragon tarot. I have three different tarot decks. Um, an angels and ancestors oracle deck. Boom. And... Um, My astrology reading cards. So let's just see what comes out, shall we? All right. Why are these in here? That's strange. These are supposed to be in this deck. I had two different decks mixed up in here. I don't know what happened there, but whatever. All right. So this is for whoever finds it, whoever is drawn into it. It's meant for you. For us. We're all in this together, right? Alright, what do we need to know, Spirit? Actually, let me clear the energy with the bell one second. Alright, let's proceed. Alright, for whoever finds it, what do they need to know? Spirit, you know who needs to find me and the messages they need to hear. Let's rock and roll. Woo, that card just flew right the hell out. Three of Swords. Somebody is dealing with the heartbreak. What happens? Let's dive in. Who broke your heart? Who do I have to hurt? Okay, well, whether you're heartbroken or not, you're not letting it stop you. Look at that. So we have Three of Swords heartbreak, but look, we have the Queen of Cups. This, look at this female. She is taming this damn dragon. She still has the cup in her hand. As she's taming the dragon, she's not even spilling her cup. She's still holding her cup as she's got this damn dragon by the nose. She's fierce. <laughs> she's like, I don't care if my heart has been broken. I'm not giving up on finding the right dragon to tame. Look at her. She is, she's got this damn dragon by the nose. She's not afraid. And she's also got her cup, which, by the way, has not spilled one drop. Look at that. <laughs> she stayed open to love while still slaying her own demons. And look at the card that came out right next to it. The sun. Okay. This belief. This belief that you have in yourself. In saying I'm still slaying dragons. I'm still slaying. Slay queen. Right. Literally slay queen. Okay. Slay. I'm not spilling one drop. Of my drink, on myself, I'm still fierce, I'm still fighting, this heartbreak's not holding me down, and boom. Because you're staying in this positive energy, there's that dragon. There's your happily ever after sun dragon, and boom, right in the bottom of the deck, three of cups. Reasons to celebrate. Some of you have a whole lot of reasons to celebrate coming up. Let's dive into that. Wow, look at that. We have the chariot. So it's Cancerian energy. The chariot is it's Cancer energy. It's also balance and fast moving energies. Why is the chariot here? They flung it out. Judgment, it came out in reverse. So that means we are no longer judging ourselves for the things that we've done in the past. We've moved past that. The past is no longer holding you back. That's why the chariot came out. The energy that's coming up now for you is going to be fast and quick moving because you have learned not 
to let your past hold you back. You've learned not to judge yourself so harshly. You've learned self-love. What else do we got? Ten of Cups. See? <laughs> You've completed the cycles that you needed to complete. And now we have another one of the happiest cards in the deck coming out. We have your Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is one of the happiest cards you can get in, you know, the cups, right? In, in the cups. Other than the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is in the relationships. Ten of Cups is so much love and happiness that you have ten of them. Not one, not two, not three, not four, ten. We have ten cups of love overflowing with love. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Okay, let's dive into this psychic tarot of the heart. Oh my goodness. So many good things. Coming in for you. If you hear a clicking, that's my fan. That's my fan. All right. They don't want me to shuffle one more time. Normally I shuffle three, but eh, they said that's good. Two's good. Whatever. Boom. Oh my God. See, I'm not lying, you guys. It's the lovers. The six is the lovers card. It's love. Your growth has been so beautiful. These past months that you're drawing in love straight to your heart. You're drawing in someone, someone really special. And they're going to match your energy. Look at them. They look perfectly matched to each other. They both look like two goofy fuckers, but, they <laughs> but look at how happy they look. <laughs> Perfectly suited to each other. Two goofy goobers. We have number 12, Observe. What? I don't know what card this is. It's number 12. I'm going to have to look it up. It's a major arcana. That's the only reason I need to look it up because it's a major arcana card. Where is my... And I don't know all the major arcana cards from the numbers, so... Let's see what major arcana card it is. Oh, it's the hanged man. So it's the energy of enlightenment. This is the energy of becoming the observer. It's number three which is a highly charged ascended master number, right? It's the number of the spiritual teacher. So this is the energy of because you've learned to be the observer in your world instead of the victim, you've learned to just observe the energy around you and to not... Um, Oh God, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like when you soak something up like a sponge, right? Um, you've learned to observe the energy around you and not soak the energy in, right? That's not the word I'm looking for. It's not soak. Um, but you've learned to just observe the energy instead of taking the energy into your body. Now you just observe it and you let it reflect off of you and bounce off of you. You've learned that and it's because you've learned to control your mind. That is not an easy feat. Wow. So if you turned tuned into this reading... You are a highly evolved spiritual being. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. 
this energy is very, very highly evolved. It's very like you're an alchemist. You no longer absorb any. There's the word I was looking for. Absorb. Thank you, spirit. You no longer absorb people's energy. You've learned to just let people's energy, boom, it bounces right off of you. There's no negativity anymore. It just bounces right off of you. You become the observer in your story. You're no longer attached in an unhealthy way to things that go on in your life. That's why you've reached the ultimate nirvana, right? So this is number two, refusing to see. In the past, you had trouble seeing your shadows, but now you can see them very clearly. You become the observer, see? It's number two. You're getting downloads. And information from your star family. There's number seven. Your crown chakra is very active. Make sure that at night you have the ability to turn off that crown chakra. Imagine that flower closing so that you don't receive the downloads, you know, and you can sleep at night. I have this issue because at night I tend to... Um, stay awake half the night because my crown chakra I forget to close that portal in my head and I'm awake receiving all these messages Ooh, like even now my ears ringing I my ears will ring all night and I'll sit here and get these downloads from spirit and I forget to say whoa this is you know my time to set up a boundary and to go to sleep so remember at night when you lay down to go to sleep just like you imagine that flower opening up when you open your crown chakra. Imagine yourself laying there and closing that flower so that you can close your crown chakra in order to sleep. And then just try to remember to, to open it in the morning. You can do the same with your third eye. I actually learned that from a really amazing, um, enlightened friend of mine. She goes by the Fascinating Fairy. And she has a YouTube channel as well. She has two YouTube channels, the Fascinating Fairy and also Hypno Fairy. And she does incredible work, but she taught me that technique and um, it's been infallible for me. Like I use it all the time, especially when I can't sleep. So this is number seven. So you're also entering this period of like extreme luck and things are going so well for you at this point in your life. It's just, the energy is amazing. I, oh my God, I have fucking spiritual chills. Um, Let's pull some Zodiac card signs and see what comes up. Okay, what else do we need to know, Spirit? We have Scorpio. Wow. So... It says this energy is intense, masterful, thoughtful, and magnetically charming, but also secretive and possessive. So some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio. You might be a Scorpio. Now this can um, relate to your um, sun sign, your rising sign, um, your moon sign. The energy of Scorpio is extremely intense. Um, and very, very seductive at the same time being mysterious. Um, Scorpio is a sign that I like to call the fuck around and find out sign because they're very quiet, right? Unless they're triggered. And then <laughs> watch out because they can be very, very intense and passionate when they're angry, right? I know, I'm a Scorpio rising. So the way that you can always tell a Scorpio is by their eyes as well. They have these beautiful magnetic eyes that will just draw you in. If you look at this card, you can look at the girl's eyes. They're magnetic. They draw people in. It's almost like, um, oh, I don't 
don't even know how to describe it. It's like looking into the eyes of like a siren almost. Like she just pulls you in. And before you know it, you're just, you're hooked, right? So this is an energy of like a very intense, seductive connection, right? Your person finds you like magnetically alluring. They're just like really drawn into, into your energy and into your energy field. Something about your aura like pulls them in like a magnet. And it's possible they feel very possessive of you. They also feel like you hold a lot of secrets. Um, they want you to open up to them more. But that's probably going to come with time. But the, uh, the attraction is very intense. They wonder a lot about you because they can't crack you. They see you as like an enigma. They can't figure you out. And that's what drives them nuts. We have Sagittarius. See, you light this fire in them. The Sagittarius is about like fiery... It's almost like um, a hunter type energy. Like it's very testosterone filled. If this is a masculine, this would be someone who would like, you would trigger their like hunter gather type energy. Like they just want to conquer you, <laughs> right? Like in a good way, like they just want to, It's like back in the day when the men used to hunt, right? They would go out and they would have to be filled with testosterone so they could kill these, you know, animals to feed their family. So they had to be in this energy of like, I'm hunting, I'm going to find my prey and I'm going to conquer this animal and take it home and, and, and slaughter it, right? So you trigger that You trigger that masculine, like, need to chase. Like, they just want to chase you and conquer you. Does that make sense? It says, this energy Im imbues power, superior confidence, and enthusiasm with faith, good fortune, and authority. So there's that luck card again. There's something about your luck changing in your love life, right? For the better. Wow, and then we have the moon. Your unconscious, sensitive, inner emotions and responses. So, the moon is about something being revealed, a secret, something coming out. Someone's been sitting on these feelings of, of wanting to... I keep hearing divide and conquer and it sounds very sexual and it's making me laugh and it's I so I can't get into this you know on YouTube because they'll probably like flag it or something but there's this highly charged sexual energy and I feel like they've been sitting on it for a really long time and I've been channeling this for quite a while and you know the moon is about hiding things deep in your subconscious they might not even be aware of what it is about you that triggers this feeling in them. But there's something that you trigger in them that makes them feel the need to possess you in a way that they've never possessed anyone before. So if this is a man feeling this way, it's like he has this feeling of almost wanting to possess you in a way that he cannot understand. It's almost like he... he doesn't get why what it is about you that makes you that drives him so crazy it's nuts but you know he can't hold the secret in for too much longer because that <laughs> that energy of the moon it's like When the moon is full, the secrets come out, right? 
Look at that bottom of the dot because I was cutting it too far. All right, we're going to do some more tarot and then we're going to end with an angels and, and ancestors oracle card. But at the same time, it's weird because th though they see you as like they're really sexually attracted to you um, and they see you as like this beautiful sexual being, they also see you as like an angel. I keep hearing this song in my head. Um, you're an angel with your halo. Um, I don't know who sings it. Ugh. But it goes, you're an angel with your halo. I don't I don't remember anything other than that. Um Where'd you come from? Oh, I can't remember any of the words. That's the only part I can remember. And my voice is not in singing condition right now. I've been doing way too many. I just did an hour long video for Pisces. What else do you need to know? Um, I did a bonus rating for Pisces because they gave me the most views. And so my voice is shot. So I cannot sing. Even though you guys know I can sing. You've seen me do the videos with John Benny. So we have Eight of Pentacles. Um, you're perfect affecting your work okay you're really focused on your work right now whoever this reading's for you're super duper focused on your work maybe that's why it drives your person crazy because they're like she doesn't even give a shit about me she's just focused on her work <laughs> have a night out on the town with your girlfriends it's just like you're too busy doing your own thing okay so, for whoever's watching this, sorry I had to pause it. My little guy is in the middle of potty training and he had an accident. <laughs> okay, so, whoever this is for, you're in the energy of, you're very work focused. You're, you go out, you have a good time with friends. You're not really worried about, you know, things. Period. <laughs> you know, um... And that's probably why you drive this person crazy because they don't understand you. You don't have this like the energy of like a 3D um, person because you're not. <laughs> um, you, you know, you've done your spiritual work and you focused on your healing journey. And so your energy is not like other people's. And they sense that there's something different about you. So it drives them nuts. So we have 21, the world. Wow. So you're closing out huge cycles. And there's this energy of some kind of something big, huge, and faded coming in for you. Something really big that you've been trying to manifest. It's already there. It's already yours. There's that moon card again. Those things that are hidden come into the surface. Whoever this person is, they're not going to be able to hold back their, their confession for very much longer. Look, we have the two wolves. Um, this is... Integration of light and dark energies... But it's also feeling like they're drowning the, in the emotions. If they don't get them out, right? If they don't spit it out. Something's got to give. That's what it feels like, right? Something's got to give. <clears throat> All right, one last card. So stay focused on yourself. Stay focused on yourself. And let whoever this person is come to you. If this is for a divine feminine, because it feels like it probably is. Nine of Cups, look. You're getting... Everything that your heart desires, 
I told you something huge was coming in for you. A wish has been granted. There it is. There's the money. There's the house. There's the love. Whatever it is you've been trying to manifest, it's there. Look, there it is. There is that love confession you've been trying to manifest. Boom. We have nine twice. Eighteen is the moon. Add it eight and one, it's nine. Nine. You have huge financial wealth coming in as well. We also have three twice. Twenty-one is the world. Add two and one, it's three, and there's three. We have three, three, nine, nine. Look at that. <clears throat> Look at those number codes. Wow. Yeah, if you found this reading, it's definitely it's definitely for a reason. Like you don't have Your energy is not like other people's, okay? You've done a lot of work on yourself. And I'm guessing you're a highly evolved spiritual being. Not many people are going to be drawn to this reading, I bet. It's only going to be for a very few, select few of you that find this. All right. Um, I feel like this is definitely not going to resonate with everybody. <laughs> All right. What's our final message? Stand your ground. If something doesn't feel right, it's probably not right. Okay? That's what I'm going to say. Pick and choose your battles, but stand your ground where you know it's important to you. Okay? Don't let anyone take advantage of you. If it's important to you, stand your ground. Be strong like a mountain. You've climbed so far up this mountain already. You have nowhere else to go but up. Okay? You're not going to fall back down. Your climb is almost over. You're almost at the top. Just keep going. We have Fire Guardian. Ignite your passions. Wow. So this is the card about following your passions right igniting your passions it's also about letting your sexual energy come out <clears throat> right let that sexual magnetism out that's what's making this person so crazy too is they can feel your sexual energy and it drives them freaking insane It's almost like they can sense all that hidden passion inside of you, right? They can tell by the way that you carry yourself and the way that you follow your passions, that you're a passionate person also in the bedroom and it drives them crazy. Look, she-wolf, unleash the wild within. I just said that. Let your sexual energy come out. Look at that. It's unleashing that wild woman inside of you that's trying to come out. You ever seen that song by Shakira that says, There's a she-wolf in your closet. Let it out and... Wait. Okay. Let it out and let her in. I don't know. Okay, but, but the whole song is about letting your wild side come out, right? Letting that she-wolf come out to play, to flirt, to have fun, to hunt, to hunt down the men and to have fun, right? <clears throat> Let her out. Lady, enjoy growth and reap rewards. See, they see you as this like empress. The apple represents love spells. They feel like you've put them under a spell. And that's not even what it is. It's not a love spell. It's just you. It's just your energy, right? 
they feel like Adam, like they bit the apple and now there's no going back. They're intoxicated. Wow, I've never channeled something like this. They feel intoxicated. Didn't expect this kind of stuff to come out today, but <laughs> there it is. The apple is a major symbol of love and intoxication. Um, all right. So I wasn't sorry. I was just making sure my kids were okay. I heard <laughs> screaming, but they're just playing. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, I wasn't expecting all of this to come out. So pleasantly surprised. It was just 3036. Now it's 3039 on my camera. That's amazing. The sinks are incredible. So if you found this reading, like I said, I feel like it's not going to resonate with everybody, but it will with a few select highly evolved souls. Um, so if you found this, don't doubt it. You're definitely one of those highly evolved spiritual beings. Um, I know that this vibrational energy is not going to resonate with everyone. So I can already, I can already claim that, um, and say that because I already know um, this isn't something that I channel every day. Anyways, if you want to book a reading with me, go ahead and click um, on the description box below my videos and click on the Goldie appointment link. And then you can go ahead and book your reading with me. Um, I do have some surprises coming up. And I'll just, I'll talk about it in a later video. I will be going to the Gemstone Hideaway Hut again for a surprise visit. This will be a limited visit. So um, I'm going to let you know so that you can book your readings with me in advance if you'd like to do that. Um, I'll just tell you now. It's going to be October 7th and 8th. I will be there for the grand opening, grand reopening, I guess, anniversary, one year anniversary of the Gemstone Hideaway Hut. Um, the owner's name is Sherry, and she invited me to come celebrate her one-year grand reopening of her shop. And so I will be there doing readings. If you want me to, to read for you, however, you will have to call Sherry and book in advance and say that you want me to read for you um, because she will have lots of readers there, not just me. Um, and you will specifically have to request me in order to get me to read for you um, because I'm going to be busy that whole entire weekend. So make sure if you want me to read for you to call the Gemstone Hideaway Hut in Lansing, Michigan. It's called the Gemstone Hideaway Hut. It's in Lansing, Michigan. And you'll know it's the right one because it's on Kalamazoo Street. The owner's name is Sherry. Call her and say, you want me to read for you. Say, you know, I'm here. I want to book a reading in advance with Chakra Bunny Toe on approximate time. And we'll try to fit you in a slot. There's no promises because, you know, from the people that are going to be walking in and requesting me. And, um, you know, the only way you can guarantee getting a slot is by calling in advance and talking to Sherry. Because like I said, there's going to be walk-ins. I already talked to a few people that are already planning to get reads with me and they're just going to be walk-ins. So if you want to guarantee your spot, guys, you're going to have to call in advance because it's going to be a busy weekend. I'm only going to be there um, for that weekend. As far as I know, in October, I'm going to try to fix, fix it. So I get one more weekend there in October. And then I don't know if I'm going to be, uh, if I'm going to be able to travel again there. So I'm doing my best to try to get, you know, to get personal reads in for you guys. So, and she's going to have them at a special price for, um, you know, the grand reopening of her shop. So it's not a reopening. I don't know why I keep calling it that. It's a, it's a one year anniversary, but she's calling it a grand reopening. So, all right. Um, that's all I got for you guys. Um, we'll talk soon. Bye.